You know Hello what I was thinking? Hello and good Thursday, everybody. I'm in the middle of something here, Doug. <laughs> I was thinking out loud. Right. Guess who was thinking, everybody? It's Doug, actually. What were you thinking about, Doug? I was thinking about that lovely person who wrote that song just for us. Deserves a little bit of Doug actually art. Do they not? Oh. Yeah, wouldn't Troy that be Orbison a fair joke? Troy Orbison, yes. Yeah. I wonder if you could do hey, Roy yeah. Orbison for Troy Orbison. I could. Or something else. Either way. <laughs> hey, Bia, how you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you um, for it's sure, nice Bia. To see Thanks for coming back, back after our up. break. So, well, we were saying this before we jumped on the air. A week feels like a long time in between. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, because it ends up being uh, two weeks by the time we get back. Exactly. And then I'm like, no one cares after that amount of time. We're irrelevant. But not true. B is here. Oof. I was going to say, that is true. So we need to make <laughs> ourselves more relevant than ever. Okay. What are we doing? We have to. We we have to try and be super super relevant. I wore a hat. I got a couple. Well, there you go. We're halfway there. What are you doing? Because you know, <laughs> you know, I love hats. You know? I know you do. That's uh, why I wore it. I, I was just like, you know, Shane loves when I wear a hat. And if I don't like that hat, I'll just put this one on. That one's a great hat. I don't own that hat. <laughs> it's pretty much the best hat. It's really good. How you doing, Bia? How's your summer going? What's happening? Yeah, what's happening with you? How are the things? So I got a couple things we got to get into, but first I want to oh. tell you about my dinner. Okay. I made, I made one of those meals. You know, you make a meal for yourself, and you're thinking you're cooking, and you're like, oh, this is it's interesting. It's something new, and you know, you're you're riffing or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this is going to turn out, and then it turns out amazing. Oh, yeah. I had one of those. Yeah. I took a cross rib roast, mm -hmm. and I, I sliced it super thin, and I marinated it with beer and chiotti, uh, wow. cumin, cumin uh, lime juice, a little bit of soy, a little bit of garlic. What else is in there? Anyway, some other stuff. Marinated that for a bit. So I got this idea. I like, I, uh, I don't know, like three. So I marinated it for a couple of hours. And then I grilled it. And I grilled uh, Caribbean sweet potato and uh, onions as well. Wow. And then I made t tacos out of it. Ooh, and I nice. used uh, key limes. And I just kind of charred the key limes a little bit before I... Oh, oh my God. Clever. Holy, holy camoli! Was it what? ever good? You should have like a food show. That the, it was one of those things like. It could have been really bad. It could have turned out horrible, uh, because I was just like flying. I had that anchiote paste, which is like, I don't know if you know, uh, it's like the base for, uh, tacos del pastor. So the. The thing that the pork is marinated in is that mm -hmm. uh, achiote paste. It's like, it's like a nutty, uh, it's kind of super flavorful red. It gives it that red color. Yeah, I was going to almost say it was like a brownish, but it's more red, you feel. Yeah, anyway, delicious. So delicious. Well, I'm happy for so you. So I'm riding the high of that, you know? Yeah, as one should. What are you working on there, Doug? Well, I'm kind of thinking about doing some farm animals, but as I'm drawing this little little goat, um, he reminds me of the at at walkers in Star Wars. Oh, yeah, right on. And I'm like, oh, Star is that, Wars was, goat. was that was that their inspiration? Star Wars goat. Hey, Hart, how you doing? Nice to Hart see you. Hey. A <laughs> new record, only five minutes of streaming. We're already talking about food. Yeah, we're right Fair. into it this week. Yep. Why waste while. time? Why waste time? Hey, hey, Doug, can I ask you a technical question? Absolutely. Um, or I, I'm going to make a technical request. Okay. 
Can you zo zoom that camera in a little bit? Oh, sure can, yeah. Bloop. A little too much. Oh. No, I'll cover her down. Okay. There you go. Ah, uh, there it is. Thank you. No trouble, Bubbles. Bubbles. So nice. If you were a Powerpuff Girl, you'd be Bubbles. I don't know the Powerpuff Girls. I mean, I know they exist, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to... W wouldn't be able to pick one out for myself, you know? Right, yeah, fair. If you were a gem in the holograms person, who would you be? Oof, I don't know. Rico. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do know. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just exactly this person for exactly <laughs> these reasons. <laughs> I don't have any reasons. Um, <laughs> this, <laughs> what came to mind? Amazing. It's funny how I don't think of something for many, 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 many years and can remember something. <laughs> good. That's good. I don't know who I would be. Pizzazz, maybe. Oh, you're pizzazzy. Yeah. I'd give you that. I don't remember the rest of them. Uh, I, I remember kind of liking the one with blue hair. Uh, Stormer. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. Do you have yeah. Do you have personality profiles at at hand that you could like tell us a bit more about? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, Pizzazz is a spoiled young woman with a bad temper who is the leader of the American rock band, The Misfits. Oh, so you're a bad She's girl. A, she is you're... violently jealous of Jem and her band. Violently? I don't, I don't know if that's me now. That no. feels off-brand. But I mean, if you're being a character, though. Uh, I could probably play her in a movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Stormer, the blue-haired lady. Yeah. Stormer was the first Misfit, also a Misfit, by the way. Oh, wow. To become friends with one of the holograms and one of the Starlight Girls. She is five years younger than her brother, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and Craig has anything to do with this, how? <laughs> Get out of here, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Old Craig. <laughs> Jetta, which is uh, the uh, lady with the black hair and the black and she white agreed? outfits. Did she have green as well? It had green, wasn't it? Uh, Pizzazz has green hair. Oh, that's you. Okay. Uh, Jetta is... Not a Jetta. You know, think Joan Jett. Oh, yeah. Long, longer hair. Sheila Burns, better known as her stage name, Jetta, is a saxophonist and the newest member of the Misfits. So you only have Misfit ladies. Sure does seem that way, doesn't it? All right, let's have a look at the, the oh, holograms. The yeah. Oh, I see. This blue-haired lady. This is the one you're talking about. Maybe. Uh, so there's Kimber, who is the redhead that plays the uh, guitar. Oh, yeah, that feels like you. She is Jerrica's younger sister and co-owns Starlight Music along with her. She is the keyboardist and main songwriter for Gem and the Holograms. Also sounds like you. Yeah. When King Kimber was growing up, she was upset because she was the youngest child and felt that she was sometimes left out. It wasn't until Leela arrived at the Starlight House when she, that feeling went away. As Leela was younger, when Kimber was nine, her mother Jackie died in a plane crash, leaving her, Jerrica, and her foster sisters in the care of her father. After he died, <laughs> her... Wow. Aya, Shanna, and Jerrica found clothes, musical instruments, a supercomputer, and even a car that their father left them. They then formed the holograms. Amazing. Kimber. Kimber, everybody. That's hey, you. little Ange, how you doing? You'd be lurking more than usual today. Well, thank you for the lurking. That's always nice. Lurking's welcomed. Thanks, Harte, about the cat. Okay, the bl the blue haired girl in the holograms was Aja Aya. Oh. 
Cool. That's, uh, uh, lead that's guitarist and foster sister of the other holograms. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, I could play some lead guitar. Sure. Asian American woman who moved in with the uh, Bentons at the age of eleven after her parents possibly died. They don't know for sure. Oh my goodness! There's so much death in this show. Yeah. They didn't like her at first, but she eventually grew on them. She had become friends with Rio uh, <laughs> because of their shared interests. What? What? See, I'm both of them. I'm Rio and. Yeah, you are the. Uh, yeah. the oh. Uh, she has a relationship with Craig Phillips. Oh, old Craig. Old Craig, five years older. Yeah. Scandalous. Yeah, there's a great picture of Craig playing drums and her playing guitar, and then another like just, picture of like her. on a date. She's smooching. Yeah, that's how they dated. Mm. They jammed. <laughs> Is that how you date? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh Did my goodness! Like, want to come over and like bang my drum? Hey, want to jam? Yeah, come on over. We'll jam. I'll play bass. You can play uh, whatever. But what you want. if they? What if they think you want to like make preserves? You're down with that too. Uh, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> freaking right, man. I got some blackberries <laughs> in the back there. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. This is who I am. Shanna or Shana. I went to school with a gal named Shana. Do you, do you know what it is? It's S H A N A. Is it Shana? Slower and again. S H A N A. Shana, I would say, but I don't know. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, she is the bass guitarist of Gem and the Holograms. Formerly, she was the drummer of the band. Oh, she gets around. So she temporarily left to follow a career in fashion. This is following my whole life, almost to the T. Right. Well, backwards, though. Yeah. Right? I was yeah. in fashion. Then I right. was a bass player, and now I am learning the drums. So, you know, it's going the other way. But still. But same, still same all game. relevant. Yeah. Um, she has purple curly hair that sticks out the sides, and is, and it is unknown if <laughs> oh my this God, is that her is natural you. hair color. <laughs> <laughs> when she arrives at the Starlight House as a child, her hair already had that color, implying that it's either her natural hair color Purple. Or it has been dyed since an early age. Mm. Her original outfit is a purple dress and oversized silver jacket and purple heels. This is so much like me. I mean, it's like, it's like you. Wow, it's like they wrote this character right yeah. after you. So get based on the character bios, um, which one am I then? From your hold on, there's one more. Rhea. Carmen. Alonso, oh. most commonly known as Rhea, Sada. is the newest member of the Holograms. She took over the drums after winning a drum duel in a talent search. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it was because uh, you stopped playing Shana, drums. Yeah, temporarily left the band in order to pursue a career in fashion. Uh, she is a beautiful, modest, kind-hearted young woman who projects a warm and friendly attitude toward others. Although she can be a bit shy and unassertive, her insecurities make her project a naive personality. What? Make her project? Oh, project. Not project. <laughs> <laughs> What's her project about? Well, it's about uh, naive uh, and... Uh, naivety. It's about naivety. <laughs> wow, her history is, is crazy long. I'm not going to get into that. Okay. Uh, now, sorry, back to your question. Now that we know all the personality traits of the holograms. Right. You had a question. Now that we know that. Yeah, who would you say is closest to me? I, I think we picked correctly the first time. Oh, okay. Aya. Or Rio, which one? Oh, we didn't get to Rio. Rio Apencheco is the road manager. And technical engineer. Longtime childhood friend and boyfriend of Jerrica Benton. Mm -hmm. Who the heck is, is Jerrica Benton? She's the alter ego of Jem. <gasps> it's Jem. Mm. I see. Um, Rio is a serious but honest and hardworking young man. He is the longtime childhood friend and current boyfriend of Jem. 
He has the tendency of being a bit hot-tempered, although he'll always be there for her whenever she needs him. He's also very brave and heroic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, serious issues uh, with secrecy and lying, especially whenever people are deceived. He also can't stand whenever he sees others being lied to. Yeah, okay. This is definitely you. I'm Rio. Okay. Uh, fan art of Jam. Jim. I'll do Jam and Jem. Um, jam and Jan? Jam. <laughs> jam. 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 <laughs> well, Jam. A oh, cracker. Jim, Jen. Jim. Truly outrageous. Jem. Jenna. So it sounds via like you don't know what the hell this is. Oh my goodness. You could draw Jim pretty well. Probably. Truly, 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 truly outrageous. That many trulys? No, I don't think so. I think it's three. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Whoa. I'm, I'm loving this little goat. Oh, I like him too, or her. I haven't decided yet. So, I'm all caught up on the only murders, are you? Okay, good. Do you understand why I got so upset? Uh, maybe, but no. No. Okay. So, I'll, I'll set the stage. So, uh,. She wakes up in that in, in that episode. The, the episode that I found, I, I'm okay with everything except for this uh, specific episode. Uh, okay. Mabel wakes up in Theo's apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And they have a conversation. Yeah. And she repeatedly tells him they set the stage of this for ten minutes. For ten minutes, she says, "I don't know." ASL. I don't know American Sign Language. And yeah. he says, I only understand 30% of what you're saying to me. And she says, I don't understand American Sign Language. I don't know what you're saying to me. And he says, I only get 30% of what you're saying. Uh, I don't know what you're saying to me. The very next scene, yep. they communicate flawlessly. Yeah. He's telling her these intricate things with American Sign Language, and she's going, she's just answering him like, oh, well, no, of course, it's like this. Right. And so the thing that bothered me is, like, you can do either of those things, but you can't do both. Mm -hmm. Like, either just have them communicate flawlessly in the apartment before they go to Coney Island, or... Right? And then it doesn't matter. But you right. set the stage like she doesn't understand any of this. And then, what, we're supposed to think that on the subway ride down to Coney Island? No, he drove. He taught her. Oh, he drove. On the drive down, he taught her American Sign Language to the point where she can understand him fluently. It's But glitter uh, it was just, fun. Oh, my gosh. It just, I was, to, to no end, I was like, this is... I was flipping the table. This is like, I'm not going to watch this show anymore. Kind of. Like, gotcha. Okay. I was wondering what had you so upset. That. Well, that I know now you're, you're explaining it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Also, there's some lazy writing this year. It's not only that it's like all of a sudden, what's her face is gone. Like Amy they Schumer? take, no, the girlfriend, they take so much time setting her up. Oh, but I think that's the whole point. Because I think now with the last episode coming and the one that just passed. Did you watch the, the one yesterday? No, I must have missed it. Oh, then not. Maybe, okay. maybe, she's, maybe she's back. Oh, so this episode that came out yesterday. Right after Doug, actually, everyone should go watch it. Um, oh, it's a, it's a banger. It saves the season. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. That's like, what I need. It, yeah, it's so good. Because I'm very... I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very annoyed. With oh, we're not going right, to restart right now. Snooze. Snooze.
Oh my gosh, party baby goat. <laughs> Which reminds me, nobody has sent me a hat in Discord. And that's 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 atrocious. I mean, come on, come on, Shelly. <laughs> Somebody get some hats. Send me some hats. Um. I think otherwise, other than that, and a bit of the lazy, lazy writing, which is the, might come around. Mm -hmm. uh, I um, I'm still enjoying the show. I I I do think that it's not uh, holding a candle to first season, though. Yeah, that's fair. I'm I'm looking up a little. Gem, and I'm trying to. There's a few renditions ever. Oh, there's there's a lot. There was a new-ish gem out not too long ago, and she looked way different. Oh. But did that bother you as well? The whole American Sign Language. Um, yes. No, not to your level. Um, it just was because I felt they needed to move the story forward. Um, so I was able to dissociate from that and just kind of compartmentalize that and play along. Nope. Not you. No, because it's like don't no, write it that way. No, I'm not. I'm. You they asked spent... how. I, I know, but they spent five minutes, Doug. Five minutes establishing that they couldn't communicate with each other. Yeah. And then it was no problem. Well, that's probably an editing thing more so than a writing thing. Oh, like there was a montage of her learning American Sign Language in the hour Possibly. that it took them to get down to Coney Island? <laughs> yeah, I would think so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll let it go. No, no, you don't have to. I oh, don't worry, I won't. I was lying. I wasn't gonna let it go. That's fair. That sounds more like you. I didn't realize <laughs> how much Gem looked like the Ultimate Warrior. You know what it is? I think it's a cross between Cindy Lauper and the Ultimate Warrior. Right. It's a bit like Thirteen Reasons Why. Oh, I haven't seen that. Did you watch that, Doug? Uh, 13 Reasons Why What? I don't know, it's a show. Oh, no, I, I haven't then. Well, don't read chat, because B is a, <laughs> you spoiled the ending. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't realize how tilted I could get? Oh, my goodness. This is just the beginning, my friend. That's oh, time. oh yeah. Shane, uh, Shane has feels. Do you get worked up from time to time? And if he could turn back time, he'd learn some ASL. Hey, and what he... else are you watching? Are you watching anything else? Nope. Nope. That's it's it. Summer. That's the only thing you're watching. Yeah. It um, is summer. I I watch a bit of um, movies in the summer. Like I'll go to the the movies, but I haven't even done that to be honest. Much. How about you? Uh, you watch oh. anything fun? Mm, no, it's similar. I don't spend a lot of time on the TVs. Yeah. Uh, in bum, the bum, summer. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, little Andrew deemed to make Doug sing, make Shane sing. Oh my goodness! What are we gonna? Oh, are we yeah. gonna do a duet? Oh yeah! What's uh, yeah. what are we singing? Oh yeah! You're redeeming. You're picking. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it cheaper to make that chain sing? Because you can't sing. Uh, no, no <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Uh, but I'm a little bit of a, a whore with singing. Like a karaoke whore. 
Yeah, like, oh, no, I can't do karaoke. Absolutely not. I can oh, okay. sing here with, with you guys because we're all friends, but you, you go to karaoke and there's strangers there. I'm not singing in front of strangers unless I'm also playing bass and, uh, you know. Singing isn't your full-time full jam. I am a backup singer at best. So you're like the Phillips and the Wilson Phillips. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're done with disarming the World War bomb near me so the walkies are safe again? Was there an old, undetonated World War II bomb near you? Interesting. Wow. Uh, which Wilson Phillips am I? Either of the redhead dead sisters. Wait, wait. I gotta look it up here. I gotta see what these people look like. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you should. Because uh, okay. they just say backup. Oh, did they? Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, they left the blonde yeah. sing all the lead. <laughs> There's one with talent and then the... I don't know that she had the most talent. She was just blonde and skinny, so they made her the lead. Well, that's unfortunate. I, I, my memory is better than actuality. Really? So, so this, uh, the one on the far left was the lead singer? Correct, yeah. And the other two are sisters. The other two are sisters. So which one's yeah. Wilson and, wh and which two are Phillips? Is that what it is? Or is it one is Phillips and the other two are Wilson? Yeah, Wilsons are the two sisters because that's Carney Wilson is in the middle and China Phillips is the blonde. I don't remember the other sister's name. This tall drink of water over here? Correct, yeah. <laughs> that's the one that I would be. The one whose <laughs> name nobody can remember. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and I'd be that weird one at the back being like, ha ha. I, don't even have to, I, I make just as much money and I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> uh, it's Berlin. They're finding those often. Interesting. It's the first time near me. And they go and they disarm them. Do they disarm them with robots? Oh, that's fun. I mean, the whole situation is not fun. Sorry, but um, robots. Right, but disarming bombs with robots. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, you what? You can get... Wh wh <laughs> okay. <laughs> you uh, make me feel unsafe right now. What's going on? I'm trying to draw. My daughter took me to see Wilson Phillips for Mother's Day, May 2022. We had a blast! Very entertaining. They sang their songs. Good. Good. Absolutely. <laughs> where, what, where, I'm not seeing this in chat. Ah, 5, 10, 22. What? What? Who wrote that? Who went? Oh, I, no, I just, I just saw it on one of the pictures. Uh, oh, um, oh, I thought someone in chat actually went. I'm like, that's incredible. But, uh, fault, but no, entirely false. I, I just, I just <laughs> didn't realize that they were still doing concerts as, uh, recently as, May this year. Can you find a recent photo? So I can show you the photo that they used for that. Is it the same one we just looked at? No. This is their promo photo for... Wow. Okay. Concert. And that was taken 10, 12 years ago? Uh, this is for this year's concert, so probably. I get it, but... Wow. They've, um... Uh... They've filtered and photoshopped well. 
Okay, here's... Uh, I'm liking the tall one a lot more these days. She's not as tall. Oh, she's tall. Oh, she, oh the rest are standing on a little thing? That looks more realistic. Yeah. Yeah. I like this picture strangely better. Feels a little more authentic. I think so too. This one, the other one's so airbrushed, it's like, oh no. Like, yeah. You don't, you have no idea what they actually look like. Well, I was going to say, they must be pushing 50 or they're over 50. So that other picture was like. Oh. Oh. Huh. Let's, uh, let's see, Doug. Let's see how old they are. Let's do it. Down here. They look younger. Uh, they look younger, not not airbrushed, you mean? Um, oh, well, well, no, no. They, they look their age in the unfiltered one. Okay, let's see here. We have... China Phillips. Mm -hmm. The blonde. Yes. Uh, how old do you think she is? Hmm. I'd say 51. She's 54. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. So one of them. Yep. Um, and then the Wilson sisters. So uh, Carrie is one, I believe. Carney Wilson Carney. is the shorter one. How old is she? I always thought she was the oldest one. So I'll go 56. She's 54, just like China. Oh, well, there you go. All right. And now for Wendy Wilson. Oh, what's her name? Didn't know that. Wah, 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 Wendy. How old do you think Wendy is? Well, I'll go with the 50, 56. She's 52. She's the youngest of the bunch. Wow. Okay. How does little Angel know this? Boom. They're buds. 52. Good job. Good guess. <clears throat> Unless you know her personally or something. Which is entirely possible. It, it, it's amazing looking at these photos because absolutely there's been some work done. Which is fine. Do your work. I have no issue with that. You mean, I mean personally, like if you want to get your stuff rearranged, like go for it. It's weird because in some pictures, uh, Wendy looks so much taller than the other two, and in others, she looks exactly the same height. Hmm. But Wendy's your favorite, it sounds like. Uh, I don't know. I need to hear them sing. Oh, you actually care about talent. Cool. <coughs> I mean, it definitely has something to do with it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Truly mm -hmm. outrageous. Do you, do you remember their big song? Uh, yes, I can hear it. Hold on, just one more day, or whatever it is. I don't know yeah, the that's tune. It. What no, that's tune? it. Oh, 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 hold on. For one more day. Yeah, I have to hear it. Too. I think things will go away. Hold on for one more day. <laughs> <laughs> you got to break free, break from the pain. Yeah, so I know there. I know there's pain. I know there's pain. Why do you lock yourself up in these chains? These chains. Right. No one can change your life except for you. Don't ever let anyone step all over you. All just over. Open your, yeah, just open your heart and your mind. Mm. It's really fair to feel this way inside. Whoa. Whoa. Someday, somebody's going to make you want to turn around and say and goodbye. say goodbye. Until, Until then, then, baby. Until then, baby. Are you going to let them hold you down and, and make, make you, you cry? cry? Hard no. Don't you know? Don't, Don't you I know, know things can change? 
Things are going to go your way. If you can hold on for one hold more day. Hold on. For one more day. One more day. Things will go your way. Hold on for one more day. It actually sounds a little bit like a jingle from a show from the 80s. And I oh, never like realized a, that till just now. <laughs> like an intro? Yeah. Yeah, to, to an 80s sitcom? That'd be amazing. <laughs> we should cut something together. <laughs> oh, just you and I in our lives and this is our yeah, sitcom? exactly. Just hold on for one more day. Hold on. I think they used it in, like, um, one of those movies with Tina Fey and all her friends. Or, no, not Tina Fey. Um... Maya Rudolph and like uh, Kristen Wiig I think they all go like to wine country and go drinking and I think they all kind of take turns playing parts in that song or something if I remember yes Bridesmaids oh is that the absolutely. one absolutely okay. yeah yeah <laughs> that's amazing pretty sure it was in Bridesmaids yeah you're right Hart absolutely yeah that's the one now you know the song that's the one that's the Wilson Phillips. <laughs> that was a great movie. Bridesmaids was a great movie. The other mm -hmm. one that, that I was um, a little bit surprised in, and I remember seeing this in the theater way back when. Oh, I yeah. was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like this. was um, Wedding Crashers. Oh, yeah. And you must have loved it. I thought it was hilarious. And I saw it in a, in a packed theater with people who weren't afraid to laugh, like the whole theater was losing their minds. It was great. Cool. You know how that makes such a big difference? You know, if you're in an atmosphere where everyone's laughing, it just like brings it out of you. Yeah. That's why they have laugh tracks. That's exactly why they have laugh tracks. <laughs> also why we have laugh tracks. <laughs> Twenty-three, you're but a babe. Twenty-three, just a just a young fella, just a young baby. Oh. I like how the goat's licking Jem's hair. Right? I'm just gonna put him <laughs> on a little like stand so he's behind her. <laughs> <laughs> and her puffy shoulders. I'm loving are this. I'm loving this gem concert. I love that they brought a goat out. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun. God, you guys make me feel ancient. What? Why? Everyone's 35 saying is still get... not the right generation. I think you are, though, for that one. You just maybe weren't. I don't know. Much. No. Sorry, everybody's in the right generation for Wilson Phillips, and here's why. They oh. had a concert yesterday. In 20, yes, yeah. You just haven't discovered them yet, you know? You'll get there. Hold on. You'll get there. <laughs> just one more day. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll Google it later and be like, God, I hate those guys. <laughs> uh, we should definitely put this on the Spotify playlist. Um, can you make a note for me? I'm busy sure. right now, but I will do it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You're a pal. Sorry, guys. Doug can't do the rest of the show. He's busy. Yeah, I'm doing stuff. Uh, where, where do you want me to put this note? Oh, just text me. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm like looking for a notepad on your computer. Oh God! I'll never find <laughs> this it. This big. Yeah. This computer is only used for this show. Sure, you're in the right generation for the Rolling Stones. Yeah, the Rolling Stones are multi generational. Um. Yeah, they've been around for a bit. Still doing concerts. I'm not quite sure why. Yeah. Money. But wouldn't they have enough by now, or do they just, like, spend oh, everything Oh, you think they make? so. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy, because apparently, like, I think, did they play here recently? Or they played somewhere recently, 
and the price tag was like 19 million for one show what to go be like just to go, to be... go just to go be the rolling stones at a place jesus and like that's too much did you um did you see Harte's cute comment in chat <laughs> I've always been curious, are you two a couple or just really good friends? Friendos. Yeah, that's the one. Or friendos. Or friendos, yeah. They would be a cute couple. We would be a cute couple, absolutely. The cutest. <laughs> bear, like a, cool. I'm not really a bear, though. <laughs> I absolutely am. <laughs> I'm big, I'm hairy. And old, apparently. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't think you're old. But according to is chat. A bear, is, a, is a bear old? Yeah, because you're, if you're young, you're a cub. Oh, okay. And if you're, what, what's an otter? It's something. Help from chat. <laughs> <laughs> Otter is a skinny cub, a hairy twink. Ah. Okay. Thanks, chat. Interesting. Yeah, I like how chat knows all these things. I can't get Wilson Phillips out of my head now. Hold on. Give it a day. Hold on for one more day. Sure. Jim's got some choppers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the choppers on her. <laughs> <laughs> She'd bite that twink in half in no time. Chompy. Yeah. There's something else I wanted to bring up tonight. Um, and now I can't remember what it is, and I don't like that. Because <laughs> it makes you feel old. Oh, <laughs> this is a great conversation with my neighbor today. He came over and he's like, I have something to tell you. And I'm like, okay, I'm here. I'm listening. What, Does he have what, COVID what again? And he wanted to just like share it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have to tell me? He's like, I can't remember. I'm too old. And then walk away. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Uh, so your your comment made me think of that. And yes, absolutely. Do not like being uh, being or getting old. But yeah, what are you gonna do? Get older. That's what you're gonna do. Oh, here's a question, Doug. Yeah. Um, you're a you're a Marvel fan, right? Yeah. You like the, the Marvel st mm -hmm. stuff. Yep. Uh, what are your thoughts on the on the uh, upcoming um, She-Hulk attorney at law? I'll tell you, they're not exciting. Um, it it almost looks embarrassing. Yeah. What are you feeling? Uh, okay, there's two. There, there's I. I'm here's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling there's two ways that this can go. It can be very funny, or it can be awful. Those. That's are the it. Options. I think so. Because what else? Like, the title alone says, "Okay, we're gonna poke fun at this." What do you mean? Because... You the first episode? You have it. Sorry, it's I'm very, very fun. <laughs> I like the first episode. Very funny. I just hate missing out on things. Uh, clearly. Uh, well, that's great because that's the one way that it can be good is if it's funny. It's got to be funny or it's going to be bad. Oh, today. It's out today. Oh, sorry, today. Okay, maybe I'll watch. Great, that I will watch that after you watch Only Murders, and then you can watch She Hulk. 
Ooh, yeah. So I'll watch Only Murders. <laughs> now that we're a couple, she I can hope. tell you what to watch and when. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, however, right, will no. jump right to She-Hulk. No. We can talk about it next couple, week. You have Now that we're a couple, you can't watch that without me. Oh we have to God. watch it together, Doug. Oh, this fucking sucks. You will wait until I'm ready to watch the shows. Uh. That's, that's the person I am in the couple. Yeah. <laughs> it's like no you will wait and i'm the one that watches it twice i'll right, watch it watch it on your own want. and then you pre- and then you pretend. like oh you'd like, you'd like oh, to I'm watch shocked. it out. i can't <laughs> believe i can't believe they did that <laughs> can you believe how funny that joke was <laughs> i couldn't stop laughing when i first heard it what oh shit <laughs> what do you mean first heard it yeah like seconds ago yeah <laughs> in my head i could feel it coming dear <laughs> oh, you didn't know better. Oh, I think that's cute. I think it's cute that you thought that. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just... can tell you, I'm not good enough for Doug. Doug is not good enough for him. True. That's why um... he's not in that manner. He's like, oh, that's it. That's interesting that you think I would stoop that. Way. I would never. <laughs> I would never date Shane. You're way too fucking messy. Um, but I love hanging out with you. <laughs> you know, I would make the effort for the right person. Oh, fair. And I'm aware I am not that person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. So funny. And truly outrageous. Truly, 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 truly outrageous. Whoa, 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 damn. Your gem's looking pretty good. She's coming along. Yeah, goat's getting closer and closer. It's just like, I'm going to taste that hair. She'll be like, that's my wig. No. Maybe it looks like cotton candy, so the goat's excited to give it a go. Um, so there's this uh, piece of advice. I mean, uh, you're uh, right-handed, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's this piece of advice floating around. It's been floating around for a while. It's not like it's new. But okay. they basically say to always brush your teeth with your non-dominant hand. So I, you uh, would brush your teeth with your left hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and apparently it makes you more ambidextrous Whoa, just by doing that sense. one simple thing. And it's not a long task. No, it's like minutes. Seven or eight minutes. Yeah. You gonna give it a go or have you been doing it? No, I, I, cause I forget. I forget when I go to brush my teeth, I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna do this. Is that why our shower is always a mess? You brush with your teeth with your my wrong teeth hand. With the wrong hand. It's not the shower, it's the mirror. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> flinging, flinging toothpaste on there, missing my teeth and everything. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I try to be, I try to work this, work this out for her today, but it's like I'm really struggling to make this believable. Because <laughs> Shane, Shane cleans his teeth in the shower, and only I would know that, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you have an electric toothbrush you're just ramming it into the back of your throat by accident this is the thing is like i'm so bad with my non-dominant hand i just I think like oh yeah i couldn't do that with an electric that'd be horrible or you, you, you like you, you show up at work one day with a eye patch and people are like what's going on there it's like oh i was brushing my teeth with my left hand yeah you just <laughs> like completely miss your mouth bam but that's like a pretty good answer and probably has the same impact as like diarrhea as an answer. I don't think I think diarrhea has a, a greater impact. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Why are you late? Diarrhea. And it's over. No. You're right. But, but people would actually, have questions. The question, the question would be why are you wearing an eye patch? Diarrhea? Oh <laughs> Yeah. 
uh, I diaryed into my own eye by accident. So I have pink eye. Yeah. Have you ever had pink eye, Doug? I think as a kid, maybe. Um, I had a sty as a kid. I remember that. Because my dad would not... say, no, it, I don't really know what causes a sty. I forget. But he always made it sound like it was because, well, he was like, you have a sty in your eye because you peed on the side of the road. And I was like, we lived in the country. There was no one around. It wasn't a problem. But the timing was off. You know. Wasn't what, like I sorry, where did, he, where did he get that saying? He had a lot of good ones. Um, I don't know. Is that one of them? Yeah, I thought I think that's pretty good because it's bullshit. You but I like sty it. on your eye because you peed on the side of the road. Yep. So I think okay. it's to stop kids from peeing on the side of the road. Oh. Oh, I thought it was encouraged. Right. You know, on the long road trips, did your dad not just pull over and you guys peed in the side of the road? You got back in the car and kept going. We didn't go anywhere. Oh. See, the thing with uh, the thing with living in Canada is things aren't close. So when you go for a drive somewhere, it could be a six hour drive. Yep. No, no. Con <laughs> like, I thought you had more to say. I, I didn't know you needed I confirmation. I was just hoping you I did. I needed. I needed validation, Doug. Sorry. It's one. Damn. So needy. Gosh. It's really called pink eye in English. Yeah. What? What? Uh, what is it called in 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 German? In German, it sounds like a disease. Well, it, Binde it haut is. tent zundung. Oh. Binde haut tent zundung. You also say pink eye in South Africa. It's, it's, it's not, I've never had pink eye. I've seen people have pink eye. Yeah, they should say home. It doesn't look good at all. No. Like, oh, why is it so crusty? Right. And just stay home. You're under the weather. Because it's contagious, uh, too, right, isn't it? Oh, like highly contagious. How high? Like if I touch, if I had pink eye, which I don't, mm -hmm. by the way, just throwing that out there, and I touch the counter, I touch my eye, I touch the counter, I walk away, and you touch the counter and then scratch your eye, you have pink eye. Wow. So it has longevity on without a host. Yeah, it's not good. Sounds. Well, it's not good. I remember having it. Uh, why does it? So the related search for Binda Haut Ten Sundong is uh, Französisch, which is French. Why is that a related search? French pink eye? Uh, let's see if there's a direct translation to English. Oh, yeah. That's right. Conjunctivitis. Oh, conjunctivitis. Oh, conjunctivitis. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, conjunctivitis. We have that too, but it's more commonly known as pink eye. Oh, I so like the shirt. So I there's the, the gem and the goat. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. It looks so good. I love that little goat. <laughs> Goatee. That's that's very good first half. Very good first half of the show. Let's uh, yeah. let's do the hurdle. Do you want to do the hurdle today? Yeah. All right. How's right, Chad, Chad feel about goat and gem, or goat yeah. gem? Pink og, pink og. That's my <laughs> Afrikaans. Okay, is this the, here we go. Is this the song one, Shane? Yes, this is the okay. song one. We'll give a little. 
little sample. Oh, you, oh, you can't do that. Apparently, you can't. Oh. Squinch, squinch the window down. All right. Okay, here we go. First second. Cool. That didn't work. Let's try it again. Also. Weird. Oh, it's thinking about it. Okay. Shug. What would the couple name be? Um. Hmm. Yeah, they're not good. The choices no. aren't good. No. <laughs> Dosh. Dosha. Oh. oh uh, no, Katy this... Perry. Um. You change your mind like a girl changes clothes. You PMS, don't you know? Nope. Yeah, Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. But now that you played it the second... Thank you, Harte. Um, now that you played it the second time... Oh, this could be Two of Hearts. Two Hold on. of I Hearts. To, um, two I'm Hearts that beat I as to, uh, one. By... Is that Mitsu? Just give me a second. I gotta play it again because I'm hearing it twice. So I need to fix that. Okay. So I only hear it once. All right, you, f you fix yourself up. Uh, where the frickin' here it is. Boop. Do it, do it, do it, do it, Ah. You're saying two heart speed is one? Yeah, but it's it's some gal from Australia. Oh God, was it Kylie Minogue? I'm going to say Two Hearts by Kylie Minogue. Okay. I think you might be right. Yeah, that's not Katie Perry. Okay. Let's see if it's in here. Uh, wait. How do you spell it? Kylie. K K no, no. Ky Kylie is K-Y-L-I-E. Huh. Uh, type in two of hearts. Damn. Try yeah, hot and cold. Bad. Whew. I don't know. Anyone in chat? Uh, well, first of all, can chat guess? Can chat hear the 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 music? Oh, I don't know. Someone wrote something. They can. They just have no idea what it is. <clears throat> okay, so we don't know yet. Um, I feel like I know exactly where this is going, but I can't place... What the heck is that? I can't place the song, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, I feel, late 80s, early 90s, but I don't know. Uh, once more. It might be Rick Astley, Never Gonna Give You Up. No. We'll guess that to get us to the second uh, part, but it's I don't think it's that. It's not even in here. Okay, well, it's... How could that not be in here? Hmm. I do hear a synth bass, you know? Like when it kicks in. Could it be All the right, Bengals? Uh, yeah. I mean, it sounds similar. Let's skip one second. Let's hear the next Banana second. Bananarama. You want to try Bananarama? Yeah. No. Apparently not. It's just Jack. Okay. 
Sorry. Let's skip this one. Let's hear what the second second brings us. A lot of the same. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I feel I need another skip. I was right! We should have guessed it. Is that what it is? Good job, Doug. Damn. Um, yeah, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Well, Harte knew the name of the song. I just knew it was Katie. Uh, do you like her? Hmm. I don't dislike her. I think there was a time I liked her more than I do now. And it's not that I dislike her. I'm just kind of like, it's not a thing. Um... I respect the fact that she made bubblegum music make her a lot of money. And her stuff's catchy as all get out. And she had some good collabs and some good duets and things. So, um, yeah, no, I applaud her career. Yeah, she definitely made a career out of it, for sure. Yeah. She seems like she has a lot of fun. Like, uh, what's the show that she's on as a judge? And she's just, like, joking around 90% of the time. Is it, like, The Voice or something? Yeah, it's one of those things, yeah. yeah. Rowie! Rowie! Lovely to see you, friend. A year, a whole year! Amazing. Amazing. Actually, where's mine, too? What do we want to work on next? What do we want to work on next? You got a full house. Dougie. Thirteen months, my lord. Roy, did Roy? I don't. Did not go through Roy, no, but I, don't I know think what you're is. talking about. Yeah, yeah. Did you have enough coffee yet today, Roy? Did you share it? You have to share it. Mm. You have to share it for the alert to go through. Right? How you doing, Rowie? What's happening? What's the news? I feel like it's been a minute since we've had a chat. Oh my gosh, has it ever. How's the new job? How's the job going? Rowie has a Tell new job. everything, Rowie. He doesn't wear clothes at work. I love this. Yep. Tell me more. No, not a single, uh, not a single not a stitch, stitch of clothing. Not a stitch. Nope. Not even a thumb ring. Wow. Does he play a corpse? Oh, you're doing jury service. Ooh. <laughs> what kind of a uh, thing is it? Is it something juicy? Is it like a murder case? Only murders. Murder. <laughs> murder. Why is your murder so muddy? I don't know. Yeah, I Oh, I got called for ju jury duty for a very high profile murder case in New Brunswick once. Oh, yeah? And so you go for jury selection. And in most jury selection, they bring in like maybe 30 people to get. 12, 12 for jury that actually there was 700 low. people at the oh. capitol theater for this wow why so many uh well because it, it, it was for a very high profile case so they i think they i know the one you're talking about most of the people were going to be ejected because they were too exposed to the media about it gotcha so that's part of the reason they brought so many people in 
luckily, I was down the end of the <clears throat> the thing, but I saw, I got to see like the lawyers ask the potential jurors a bunch of questions. Like they ended up getting the jury before I was asked anything. Oh, which okay. I was very very thankful for. Right. But man, it was super interesting. Like some of them were like, I don't want to because I'm scared that the um, accused. Murder. Uh, accuses family will come and murder me. <laughs> I was like, oh, is that a possibility? Um, but wasn't that, if it's a case I'm thinking of, it was all in the family anyway, wasn't it? Uh, no, it's not that case. Oh. Um, it was uh, way before that. So it would have been in, oh. I'm trying to think of the year. Working out the bow, so would have been like 97, 98. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I would probably know it if you said it, but I don't know. It's, I, don't, I don't get the feeling Melanson? you don't want to say Oh, huh. no, I don't really remember it. We can talk about it offline. I uh, still don't know what I'm painting around. Oh, you, you don't know what you're painting yet. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. There was about 50 selected for a 14 jury case, and you got picked. Look at you. You're the best. Wow. Well, he's one of the top 14. In Germany, you don't have to do such. There's no jury trials in Germany? What do you do there? New job is good with really good pay? That's awesome, Rowie. Nice. A kiwi bird. Oh, okay. Yep. I can do that. Well, it was my paint. Door. It was. You can't. There's no camera on my paint. Yeah. That's right. Now no jury trials in Germany. Interesting. Who did yeah. the song about a paper bag? Plastic bag. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Plastic yep. bag? Yeah. I think you're a fan. Uh, I don't... I, uh, I don't know. I don't know a lot of her stuff, so... It's not typically the stuff that I listen to. Right. You're more into power ballads and duets. I did see a live performance of hers, uh, which was quite amazing. At the Super Bowl? Uh, no. There it is. Oh, it is top notch. Top, top notch. Top notch. Top notch. Thank you, Roey. Thank you so much for the resub. That's uh, a yeah, whole amazing. year. I can't believe it's been a whole year that we have been affiliated. Yeah, it's wild. Which must mean we're coming up close to our two-year mark here, Doug. On the show? Mm -hmm. uh, November will be year two. Oh. We started the first of November two years ago. Really? That was the first show? Yeah. First show with us or first show with you? Uh, first with show us. On Twitch. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. Don't go look it up, guys. It's not. I don't think it's available anywhere. Yeah, it's because it's not. It's not. <laughs> it wasn't even called Doug Actually then. What was it called? I don't know. Maybe Doug Building Art? I don't know. With Shane? I don't know. I think I was just a guest on the show at that point. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It was your show. I was just a guest. And, just... Then I, 
And then, then look what happened. Friend. See? Voice of friend. <laughs> That's exactly what was in the chat, or in the description. <laughs> Voice of friend. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. That's so funny. We've come a long way, baby. Yeah, it's been a... It's been a journey. Thank you for showing up every week. Art. I like this. This is, a, this is a very judgy statement here, Bia. Our law system is not like the U.S. Canadian one. We have presumption of innocence here. I mean, <laughs> theoretically, so do we. On paper. Is this SMAR? No. I said it wrong. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just wondering how everyone's loving this. Should I turn my mic off? No, absolutely not. Love it. Love it. You know, it makes me feel like I'm a plastic bag. A plastic bag. A plastic bag. Blowing in the wind? No, just, a, just one in the garbage. <laughs> Getting filled up. <laughs> Shocking that garbage in there. <laughs> All these garbage feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should go to therapy after the show. And after you watch Only Murders and the She Hulks. Yeah, I got things to do. <laughs> 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 Australian Football League. Oh, AFL. Who said AFL? ASL. Oh, um, I don't know. I thought it said I missed. I just looked over quickly. Sorry. Going to the AFL tonight. Oh, nice. Uh, who's playing? America's funniest laughs. Rosie Perez. Fran well, Drexler. AFL isn't isn't soccer either. It is a weird combination of rugby and smashing people to the ground. AFL is really interesting game. And it's like uh, there's four posts at the end, two tall ones and two short ones. And you can kick it through the middle or the sides. And I think the middle is, Ro, you can correct me here because uh, this is all speculation. I think if you kick it through the middle ones, it's more points. If you kick it through the side ones, it's one. And you can run it into the end for some other amount of points. And like rugby, you can only pass backwards. You have to bounce the ball every once in a while, like uh, basketball. And if you want to pass forward, you can do it, but you have to do it by a kick or by a hand bump. Are these right, Rowie? This is what I'm remembering of uh, Australian rules football, which honestly is a ton of fun to watch. There's some crazy moments, some crazy things happening. No, it's so crazy that they make me feel like a plastic bag. Plastic Blowing bag. in the wind. Plastic. <clears throat> yeah, good question, little Ange. What is everybody's favorite sport to watch? Um, I actually enjoy hockey and tennis. Okay. I think hockey would definitely be my favorite sport to watch. Followed by uh, indoor volleyball. Oh, a little ballon volant. A little ballon volant. I didn't know that about you. 
I love volleyball. Oh. It's a very exciting indoor volleyball is very exciting to watch. I think think people think that the beach volleyball is more exciting to watch, and I think beach volleyball is more boring to watch. I think they just like to see all the bikinis. Oh, that's why people like beach volleyball better. Exactly. It's not because the volleyball is better, it's because it's the bikinis. Oh. I see. And the abs. There's a lot of abs in beach volleyball. Yeah, I saw a funny meme the other day. Uh, I shared it with a friend. And it was like, 80% of women love men with abs. But 80% of men with abs don't love women. <laughs> that is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually hilarious. It's really funny. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty great. Thing is, is, we all have abs, just most of them are hidden. That's right. Animals eating. Oh, what? Like what kind of eating though? Like, I don't want to see an animal eat another animal. Uh, lettuce. A turtle. There's a lot of animals that eat, eat lettuce. Yeah, if I saw a turtle eating lettuce, that'd be amazing. Actually, I've seen that in an aquarium, actually, in Boston. Fruits. Yep, that's all good. By punching it, yeah. They punch the ball, and it moves it forward. So you can move the ball anywhere, no offside. If you kick the ball, it has to go more than 15 meters, okay, to be a mark. You have to bounce the ball every 15 steps or so. Exactly. It's a very, very cool sport. That's cool. You're going to the live game, Melbourne and Brisbane. Is your team Brisbane? And how are they doing this year? They're going to win? Here's a funny tweet. Sixth grade, I forgot a, the science fair was the next day. 10 p.m. in a panic. I find a loaf of moldy bread my, my pops forgot to throw out. Made a study on mold, moisture, and air. Got second place in the school, fifth in the city. Bread so moldy, I was praised for conducting weeks of research. <laughs> That's awesome. Love the French Bulldog ASMR reels where they eat fruits and vegetables. Oh, that really? makes a lot of sense. I don't, oh my God, I don't know if I could do the ASMR stuff. It's just, like, I mean, I could produce it, but I don't think I can listen to it. I think you, I think, like, do you get tingly? Like, people get tingly out of it or something. Um, I've never really tried. I find it's all very um, sexually oriented, which is fine. No issue with that. Um, it is? I thought it was more a relaxation meditation thing. That's so no one gets upset about it. <laughs> but they're always like whispering like, Shane, now I'm I'm tickling your grapes. Oh, is that the type of stuff they say? Tickling yeah. your grapes? Yeah, they say weird shit. And they always whisper it like real naughty like. <laughs> brush my hair now <laughs> uh, hearts hearts having some troubles you just give him a second here <laughs> <laughs> oh Doug no you know? <laughs> right <laughs> shut up <laughs> it's so it's so much goose puppy <laughs> You know what word I like more than goose puppy is um <laughs> Goose Pimply. Oh that's so goose pimply. Yeah. The back of my neck is all goose pimply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um new stream. Uh <laughs> 
trying to make Doug not laugh with Shay doing. Let me get the, the ASMR <laughs> going here. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was that's, that was good. So I tried to watch one of these streams, and the thing that gets me is like, oh, you're making all these mouth sounds that I find so annoying. Right. How are people listening to this with like it's just. Oh no, I don't like it. It's just, uh, it, and some people are like legit, think like feel have all the feels about it. Mm. Who in chat, uh, what's the word, enjoys the ASMR? I was gonna say gets off on it, but that's not. <laughs> you can. It's your show. But that's not right because I don't think people are getting off on those sounds. Well, oh, I do. Sorry. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> I don't think ever. <laughs> Because I think people are. I don't I do think too. most people are. Doug thinks most people are. I, I don't think most people are. I think most people are using. Well, it I don't for know like most people. Relax. I only have like four friends. Oh, and they're, they're all getting off of they're all in chat. never got the appeal Roy. I, I i just yeah and i think i think it's a thing like um the soapy cilantro like some people have the the thing that makes that a trigger and some people don't i think it's it's i think the animal eating things would be cute but only because animals are eating things <laughs> like eating vegetables one of my most favorite like relaxing videos is the uh, baby goats in pajamas video. And if you haven't seen that video, you should look up baby goats in pajamas or baby okay. lambs in pajamas. I don't know if they're lambs or goats, but they jump around and they're in little pajamas and it's so cute. <laughs> I don't think I have seen it. <laughs> it's a trigger. Yeah, it's a trigger for me. It's triggering that I want to kill people. Okay, so no, a no ASMR for Bia. All right. There's next thing we know, Roey will be jury in Bia's trial. Yeah, but she'll be presumed innocent, so it's fine. Oh, that's right. And there is no jury. There is no juries in. Uh, yeah, she's good. Germany. She's got this. So what? A judge? Just so? What if you get a bad judge? Kind of screwed. I guess if you get yeah. a bad jury, you're screwed too. You don't. Oh, so little Ange is a non cilantro person. Mm -hmm. Roey is a cilantro person. What about you, Doug? You cilantro pro? Con? Yeah, I'm. I'm good either way. I'm not anti. Your 23 and me results indicated as well. Yeah, because it is a gene. It's a specific gene that, that makes you taste cilantro as soap. Or soap. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. yeah. So when people are like, oh, I can't have that in my food, they're not they're not being um what's the word? Picky. Yeah. No human ASMR give you all the animals. Yeah, the, the human stuff, I don't, I don't, it does, you no, know, makes no sense to me. And they get the 3D microphone, not the 3D microphone, the, the uh, stereo mic, so they, like, go from side to side. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roey's going through security. Put us in the, uh, put us through the thing, where they x-ray, x-ray Doug, actually. <laughs> It'll be the first time. Okay, give me one second here, Doug. I have to use the washroom and grab a beer. I'll be right back. Give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back around. You can see me turning. Roy, how's uh, the Kiwi coming for you? Coming along all right?
what's uh, what's going on this weekend for everyone? Big plans? No plans? Hello. Hi. Uh, I was thinking about this, and I'm wondering if anybody uh, has seen or heard from James lately. I know that he was done with Twitch as a platform. Oh, and I, didn't know I was that. wondering if anybody uh, has seen him on the new platform, and if they could share that in chat would be good. Because uh, I forgot where he ended up. And I haven't seen him in a long time. I'd like to say hello. So just throwing that out there. What uh, What's the story there? I don't know. Like, remember the last time he was here, he was like, oh, I'm not. I said, I haven't seen you streaming for a while. How come you haven't been streaming? And he's like, oh, I'm kind of done with Twitch. I started streaming on this new platform, blah, blah, blah. And then I just promptly forgot. And then, oh. uh, yeah, haven't seen him in a while. Gotcha. Oh, uh, well, cool. tell him we say hello, Hart, uh, if you see him. Instagram story. Cool. Oh, I should follow him on the Instagram. I have not. What? Really? Yeah, I'm not good with the social media in general. Mm. I don't know if you've noticed, but I post, like, not very often. I assumed you are just more of a lurker. I am. Uh, but also not even good at that, apparently. Well, you uh, you like my stuff once in a while. Yeah. That's when I know you're still around. I mean, you don't like if everything. I see your stuff, Doug, I like it. Oh, okay. You do like everything. It's That's like good. It. <laughs> wow. Was that Rui? Or that was my Instagram was story? Sure. Yeah. It was your Instagram story. Why are you breathing so hard? <laughs> it's a fair question. Why? So good. Cause, cause... I'm just so Cause excited, yeah. Doug. I'm just so excited. <laughs> you can't hide it. You're about to lose control, and I think I like it. Ooh. You're about to lose control, and I think I like it. Mm -mm. That was what it, that? yeah. Pointer Sisters. Point that was Shane Kerr. You couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> I couldn't really. They came hey, from Mo you're back. Motown you're through, through security. And you have no town. Yes, welcome back, Roy. Welcome back, indeed. Okay, Doug. Yeah. It's it's time. <clears throat> it's time for a recast. I, I want you to recast a movie for me. Okay. Okay? Yeah. First, I want you to pick a year between okay. 1995 mm -hmm. and 2010. Oh, that's quite a gap. Um, yeah. Two thousand and seven. Okay, so 2007. In 2007, ooh, this is interesting. It's a bad year for films. Uh, the top films were Super Bad, mm. Shooter. Oh, that's uh, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, Ocean's 13. We've already done that. Yeah. American Gangster. That was a bad year for movies. Okay, let's pick another year. Um, okay. 97 was my real feeling, and I wanted to go more modern, but let's do 97. Okay, 97. Let's do 1997. Oh, that was a great movie. The Game? Right. Was that Val Kilmer? Oh. No, it was... Um, What's-his-face? <laughs> Not Val Kilmer. Uh, Michael Douglas. Oh, 
Was that when he met uh, Catherine Zeta Jones? No. No. Uh, like, there's almost nobody in that movie. It's like basically him and a bunch of unknowns. Okay. Uh, great, great movie, though. Oh, there's a lot of good movies here. Okay. Donnie Brasco. Uh, mm -hmm. Gattaca. Oh, yeah. Movie. Yeah, I like that movie. Con Contact. Oh, Jody. Event yeah. Horizon. Face Off. The Fifth Element. Goodwill Hunting. Oh, Fifth Element's great. Goodwill Hunting. The well, Saint. Okay. The Rainmaker. Oh, well, Saint was uh, Val Kilmer. Yeah, that was Val Kilmer. Donnie Brasco. Who was in that? Was that Johnny Depp? Uh, that yeah, was... Johnny Depp and Al Pacanu. Yep. Uh, Men in Black. Ooh. Yep. Batman and Robin. Oh, George. Uh, yeah, Gattaca was a great movie. Jackie yeah. Brown. Ooh, yeah, Jackie should have come back. Yeah. Mm. That was Quentin. Titanic, Selena. Titanic was that year? Yes. Let's recast yeah. Titanic. You want to recast Titanic? Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. Let's do it. Everyone in chat. All right. So we're recasting Titanic. Yep. Okay. I got to really think about this. I know. Oh, man. That's difficult. It is. And here's here's the thing. Yeah, absolutely, you can play Rose, Rowie. You can recast yourself as everybody in Titanic. <laughs> oh, well, I'd be Jack. Little Ange wants to play the iceberg. So Perfect. I think we'd have to, uh, I don't know. This yeah, sounds okay, like yeah. a lot of community theater, but I'm here for it. Yeah, Harte's going to play the boat. <laughs> I love it. I think we just made the best movie we've never made. Amazing. They're going to get these amazing <laughs> amazing suits and costumes made. <laughs> okay, so so everybody's pick for DiCaprio's role. Who would you put Who would you put in the leading man role? I'm going to pull up some cast members so that we So, Kate Winslet, Leonardo DiCaprio, Billy Zane, Bill Paxton, Gloria Stewart, Kathy Bates, Victor Garber, Francis Fisher. Like some good actors, but like, I think you really have to just kind of worry about Rose and Jack. Yeah, Rose and Jack obviously are the big ones. Uh... I need to put my brush down to think about this. I think those are the two. Like, basically, we're just casting. I know this is obvious, but I think I'd pick Brad Pitt. But he might have been a bit old for that at the time. But I don't know. Do they have to be, like, relevant at that time? No. So you can even pick, like, a modern actor that's... that's Oh. Right. We'll, we'll just do the age thing. Like, we'll like the guy from... Uh, well, gosh, if we're doing today's people, I'd pick... Um, the guy from Dune, I don't know his name, and um, and Zendaya. Oh, so the cast of Dune is now the cast has, of Titanic. Has Titanic. Yeah, <laughs> you get it. Feels like a cop out to me a little bit, because the Dune casting director already did that, but not with the Titanic in mind. <laughs> I love I love Hart's description. Hit a minor inconvenience, have a breakdown and sink away into the depths, never to be seen again. Fair. Oh. Yeah. Life. Like, that sounds like life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> to pick the Jack one, you just need to think about a person you want to die from drowning in the cold water because the woman on the door doesn't want to share the space. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So if that's the case, then I'm going to go with Polly Shore. Oh, I like where this is going. 
Um, oh, what's his name from the Mummy? Brandon something. Yeah, Brandon Fraser. I was yeah. thinking that exact the because they they were in Encino Man together. He would be the Billy Zane character. Yeah. I like, just don't is like that him. Who you're pick Brendan? You don't like Brendan Fraser? I don't know. Oh. No. You don't know or you don't know? I don't like him, though. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very sure I don't like him. Fair enough. Uh, so DiCaprio's, for, just for the age thing that you were talking about, DiCaprio is 47. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Bradley is, Bradley is 58, so he's, yeah, 10 years older. Yeah. Oh, Sean Aust Austin was in. Oh, was he? Cool. Oh, sorry. That is one thing that I did watch uh, was the rest of Stranger Things. Oh, and was it worth the... Seen it yeah, I like it was definitely worth it. I mean, there's a I see why I stopped watching it when I stopped watching it. Mm -hmm. uh, but like pushing through was worth it. I'll just okay, say. fair enough. I want to watch it again, but I got rid of Netflix. But I can get it oh, back. and that's fair. like just yeah, pick it up again later. Like that's the way that streaming shit should go. Uh, okay, so has everybody picked their, uh, has everybody picked their little Ange says Johnny Depp, mm -hmm. uh, Timothy Chalamet, yeah. uh, the he's, uh, he's the fellow from Dune. Oh, he's the Dune fella. Yeah. You know, mm. if I had to pick someone from today. He seems the only one kind of relevant. They're charging him up to be the next big thing, but I don't know if he really is or not. Yeah, but didn't they do that with Adam Driver? He became... Zroom. He did. He did become Zroom, but... Uh, that's about it, right? Uh, he had some, like... Uh... Mainstream, like you had a big movie with um, that girl you like, Scarlett Johansson, and they're essentially in an apartment the whole time, but people loved it. Oh, my life or life something something. Maybe like, yeah. Um, the worst. That life. guy from Euphoria, Angus Cloud, that guy, or Jacob Elrodi. Oh, he would be good. Which one's he? Was he the dad or the son? The son. Uh, you know who I'm thinking of is the guy from uh, Sex Education. Oh yeah, yeah. Connor Swindles. No, not not the not Otis. The oh the the, the jockey guy. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Actually, the guy that played his boyfriend would be an interesting uh, pick True. as well. Yeah. In Kuti. Uh, Gatwa. Or maybe that's one of them plays Rose, one of them plays Jack. Well, that would be an interesting little twist. Would be like it? Ross and Jack. Oh, but I like her too, the one that played Maeve in that. Maeve. But again, that's what? just taking like casting from. Oh, Maeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's good in that show. She was great in that show. Um, but the guy that played the jockey guy, he was in a bunch of other shows too, right? W wasn't he in uh, The Inbetweeners? Hold on, let me look. Not sure. I might be confusing him with something else. That's fair. Uh, yep, absolutely confusing him with something else. Because he has not done much. 
Huh. His face looks so familiar. Uh, Nakuti is being, busy being the next Doctor? What? Oh, Doctor Who! That's right! He got cast as Doctor Who. Good for him. That'll be cool. I'm not never, a huge Doctor Who fan. I never yeah, really I've got never into it. The same. But it's not our culture. Uh, I know and love people who love that show, so... Yeah. Uh, transitive property. That show's okay by me. But I don't watch it. So, you know. And there's been so many versions. He is asking, the Kiwi could uh, could need some golden accent. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. What are you putting in there? Golden accent? Uh, not right now, no. Mm. I think she needs, like, gold leaf. Oh, I see. Yeah. So have we recast it? Uh, Jody Cormer could be a good casting for Rose. Know this name. Oh, yeah. What was she in? She's super. Killing Eve, that's where I know her from. Um, I like anything uh, that Phoebe Waller judged. Well, most things. Waller something. Phoebe Waller something. Oh, that guy would be cool. As uh, the the guy from Stranger Things with the hair. Which one? The one that played Steve Harrington. Oh, Steve. Yeah, I like Steve. They all have so much hair. It's a lot. He's got he's got he's got an immense amount of hair. Yeah. I think he'd be good in that. Him yeah. and uh, he's okay. So he is my. He he is pushed out. Uh, what's his face? Polly Shore for me. Okay, and I want that Charlemagne boy. Okay. I like you want that Charlemagne boy. Yeah. Oh. And you want Zendaya. <laughs> uh, yeah, because she's got the sass. I'm recasting Dune as as uh. Um... <laughs> you, it's Titanic, but it, it's Dune, but it's Titanic. Yep, that's, that's how the, you're going. That's how I'm going. Yep. I mean, basically the same movie anyway. Right. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, Joe Joe Keery. Carry whatever. I'm going with him as my um, uh, my Jack, mm -hmm. and for my Rose, so here's how I'm thinking about Rose. You want somebody that's going to also make a good old lady. Right, because that movie isn't all just the young people. She survives. She's but they recasted older. another actress to play. Sure, they would, but you would want somebody that that young. You could see them as an old person, because if you can only see the young person as a young person, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, a, ye a yellow golden kiwi fruit here in Canada. I like the green ones too. The green ones are more tout, more more tout. Okay. Is that a word, Doug? Uh, it sounded like it was, but didn't have anything to do with fruit. No, tart is the word I was looking for. Tart. Tout like a tiger. Yeah, who's my rose? That's a, that's a good question. Who's plays Rose? Betty White. Who's everybody else's Rose? We only got one Rose. 
Jody Cormer. Who was your rose? Oh, Zendaya. Right. Yep. We're still recasting Titanic here. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he didn't have any results to me. For those just joining, we're recasting Titanic. Just the main two characters. We're having quite the time. A great time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Melissa McCarthy. Uh, her, her as Rose brings me back to uh, Polly Shore as Jack. Right. I would agree. Well, if we're going Melissa McCarthy, I dare say Vince Vaughn. If we're going Melissa McCarthy, I would say that... Uh, Ooh, Bateman. Ooh. As Jack. Yeah. And then who's your rose if Bateman's Jack? Oh, Melissa McCarthy. Oh, that would be pretty good. I think that would so. be pretty funny. You can make that pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. I just I like, I'm so like right. watching it in my head. It's like, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. And the band is playing like Oompa music as the ship goes down. Yep. <laughs> Oompa. A little polka? Polka, that's the and word. And plays on. Yeah. Oompa, Oompa. Um, I got to get off the... Uh, Stranger Things thing. Okay. Who did I pick? How are you doing tonight? Yeah. Is it Joe? <laughs> I picked Joe, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm still thinking who's my rose now at this point. Rose and Island. Every rose has its thorn. That's true, it does. Just like every night has its dawn. <laughs> Bro, Vin Diesel has himself while he does something stupid and fixes the ship somehow. So we're actually changing the plot as well as the casting. <laughs> Sounds like it. You would watch the comedy version of Titanic? I think I would, too. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It needs to be not over the top, though. This is the problem with the parodies, is sometimes they get too over the top. They just need to simmer down a little bit. I'm just like every night has its time. I'm just like every cowboy. Since the same, same, same. Every rose has its own. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Can you take over for guitar now? No, I liked I liked your rendition. I like that you even started singing the guitar solo. Nice. Yeah, I committed. I went all in. I don't know okay. that I like this bird, but it is what it is. Really? Yeah. I like that bird. Ah, I'm being polite. What's wrong with him? Ah, just, um, I don't know. Too big of a canvas for what I wanted to do. Oh. But it was the only one I had close, so I was like, it'll do. And I was like, ah. That's the way it goes, I guess. That's the way life goes. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. You know that song? Hmm? Cause it's Wait. about family. Which song? Bump a bump bump? I don't know that song. It was uh, That's the Way Love Goes by Janet Jackson. Oh, no, I don't know that song. I did hear a thing about uh, Janet Jackson the other day. Though. What's she up to? Oh, not, it wasn't a recent thing. It was about the, uh, it was about the scandal at the Super Bowl. What? Oh, what was the scandal? I mean, I know her outfit. So the so. scandal was there was two versions of the song that they had rehearsed 
one where they rip uh, her clothes off and one where they don't. And in the one where they rip her clothes off, there was another layer of clothing underneath. Right. And the costume director or somebody had a beef with her, told Justin they were doing one version, told her they were doing the other version and dressed her with nothing underneath. So that when they went out there, he did wow. the one version, she did the other, and that's why they both look shocked. He looks shocked because he's like, oh, I, what? And she looks shocked because he wasn't supposed to do that in her mind. Right. So, and I don't know, like, how much truth there is to that, but it was some vindictive person in her camp that was wow. mad at her for something that that set that off and you know what that destroyed her career yeah it did and it did nothing to him which was no he was back a few years later performing yeah, yeah. that's too bad it got called nipplegate <laughs> yeah uh uh Rowie would like you to sing the bum 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 song i don't know that song I, I think it's any song you want it to be. <laughs> think I, of a song and then go. Uh, I could do like the. Oh, there you go. That's the one. That's what he wanted. <laughs> this is like actually one of the worst. Paintings I think I've ever done. What? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Existential crisis here. Chad, yeah. cheer him up. I don't know what's going on. He thinks this is the worst thing he's ever done. One of. Definitely on this show. Oh. I feel bad. I'm sorry. Just turn it around. Start again. <laughs> I am. I'm wiping off the paint. But I will not finish it this evening, I'm afraid. Thong, 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 thong. Uh, after you wa white woped, after you woped off all the texture there. <laughs> after uh, I was woke of how shitty this painting is, yeah, go on. You, you woped off the, the texture. It, it kind of looks uh, like a, a silhouette now. Yeah. Something so I could build up later. It. Yeah. Yeah, you backlight it and, you know. Yeah. Hart really likes this little guy. And the thong song. Hart got it. Thong, th thong, thong, thong. Tell me where the beat. Well, look, it's been a fantastic evening, everybody. Yes. Yes, we'll Rowie, we're heading off, too. Yeah. Yes, we're heading off. We'll see you guys next week. Um, one thing that I absolutely want to do next week that we haven't done in ages, and I don't want to, like, I don't want to pump it up too much. Okay. But we really need to play a celebrity net worth next week, and it would it's be lovely if you could all join us uh, for a little bit of old throwdown there. We'll see how it goes. It sounds amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, we got to think about some people to talk about then. All right. We got a week. Bring it. We got a week. We're going to do another recasting early in the show. We'll use oh. that recasting as our uh, I like this. celebrity net worth fodder. So I'll find a, a better movie than Titanic. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and we'll be tighter with the recast i thought that would have been gone so much better but no well the problem is is that it's just like it's so wide open there's two there's two roles and it's yeah. just like it could be anybody and it's yeah. like it turned out that you just wanted dune you know what i'm gonna say jason statham and sandra bullock boom sit on that wow Whoa, where did that come from just I've, right I've now been... Wow, geez. Mic drop right there. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. We'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Take care. Have a good weekend.